Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. Uh, today we're going to be just doing an update on the auto flowers and also the photo periods in the auto pots. Okay guys, hope you all had a great Christmas. I hope you got tons of gifts and, uh, and hopefully you got to spend some time with some friends and family because that's what it's all about, right? Okay, so first off, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the two and a half by five foot tent and see what, uh, see how those auto flowers are doing in there. Okay, so there we are. We have on the left, we have the Skittles auto flower from ilovegrowingmarijuana.com. And on the right, we have the early mist from Crop King Seeds. And uh, both doing fantastic. They are six weeks into flower and uh, doing really well. The smells coming out of this tent when I open the door is just, it's, an, it's almost enough to, uh, to make your, your eyes burn. Almost. Very strong terpenes on these ones. Now, this here is the Skittles. And uh, we just took down a Skittles last week in the other tent. And this one is not as tall. But still, it's got lots of nice fat buds on it. And the difference with this one is... These buds are solid, so I'm really happy about that. The other one that we did last week was not, not near as solid as this one. A little bit fluffy. So uh, anyway, still smokes good. I already took samples, and uh, the, it tastes it very, very sweet tasting. Uh, really nice smoke if you want something really nice to smoke. And uh, yeah, so not bad at all. This one is, uh, yeah, just definitely more dense. And uh, she'll be ready in a couple of weeks. So now I do have a couple of sticks here. Uh, just a, I just took a skewer stick out of the uh, kitchen and broke it into three pieces now. Uh, now, some of these buds were, uh, some of these colas were kind of close to each other. These ones were actually touching, like up against each other. So I just pried them apart and stuck that in there and did the same here and here just to basically open them up and uh, let some of that air movement down in there. I mean, these are thick colas and we don't want to be worrying about uh, any powdery mildew or anything like that by, by having them too close. E even these two here are kind of close and you can see when they're close, we have the ones down here. See how kind of fluffy that is down there? And that's because it's just, it's not getting the light and the air movement down in there. So uh, I maybe I'll get another stick and just stick it right in there. Whew, that's sticky. But uh, anyway, doing very well, happy with that. Now over here, we have the early miss. And uh, again, we got some, some decent, decent colas here. And they are rock hard. They're very dense. Very dense colas. So, uh, again, another couple of weeks here. Uh, we can see some of the residual damage from the lockout that we had a couple of weeks ago. But uh, it's recovered pretty good off that. Just basically give it a little bit more runoff than we were. And flush just flushed more of those excess salts out through the bottom. And yeah, she's got a really strong smell to her too, but very pleasant smell. I like it. It's uh, I'm so bad at describing smells, but it almost smells if you're walking through a wet forest and uh, you got the leaves down there. So it's kind of like that earthy, earthy with a little bit of sweetness to it. Anyway, super excited for both of these. Um, here we have uh, anybody that's watched my videos for, for a while. They've probably seen my little solo cup pepper plant. And I've had that thing going for months and months. And it would give me a couple little peppers here and there. Well, I thought it was done. It wasn't growing any, more, any more new buds. The leaves were turning yellow. And... Uh, I was going to chuck it out and I thought, well, I'll just keep watering it for a week or so. And then all of a sudden it started putting out more buds, more blossoms, tons of them in here. And uh, 
So last week when I harvested the, the Skittles autoflower, I just took a knife, cut out the shape, cut through the roots and cut out the shape of the solo cup and uh, just planted this right in that old pot. And um, so it's, it's a pot with cannabis roots in it. Uh, didn't do anything to it, didn't flush it, did nothing. So anyway, just an experiment to see how this will do in there. Because uh, in that solo cup, she was dried out half the time because obviously a plant, I mean, she's got some decent size to her. Especially when she's growing pepper, she sucks that water up pretty quick. So it was dry half the time. This way she'll stay wet. And uh, just curious to see what will happen with her. But uh, yeah, she's definitely putting out some lots of blossoms up top here. I see a little, little pepper here. So, anyway. So, we have Skittles. We have Early Mist. Let's go take a look at the Purple Kush in the other tent. And there we have it. We have the Purple Kush from Sonoma Seeds. And she is an auto flower. And, uh, yeah, she's supposed to look like that. But they make them look so good on there on those posters but uh anyway i'm super happy with this anyway she uh, to me she looks just amazing uh she's got she's got some good colors coming out there and she is loaded loaded with trichomes all the way down just amazing a uh, little bit of uh a little bit of leaf damage there from the lights being too close there a while back not worried about that at all She'll be done next week. So what I'm going to do next week is uh, the tops will be done next week, I should say. So next week I'm going to come in and I'm going to do a select harvest. So uh, I'll, I'll be taking off some of these, well, all these bigger tops. And uh, I'll probably take them down. I'll probably take them down somewhere around here and take off these, uh, these top buds and then leave all the the stuff down here i'll leave that to grow a little bit longer maybe another week or so and then they'll be done yeah i really like this one my favorite my favorite plant out of everything in here right now so all right so next week yeah we'll be taking down part part of that one now let's take a look at the auto pots auto pots are doing fantastic in the back, we have the Cafe Racers, which I got from Rocket Seeds. Now, they're a, a high THC strain and uh, really excited to see how they turn out. Now, we did top them last week. That's all we've done with them, except for uh, the other day I did come in, took off a few big leaves that were covering some bud sites, but that was it. And uh, I don't plan on doing anything to them today. Except for, I, I am going to separate these pots a little bit. As you can see, they're kind of, they're all growing together now. And I want to give them a little bit of space. I have the space, so I may as well do that. So what I'll do is just separate them a bit. I'll move this one here. There's a, there's a bar there. So I'll just move it on the other side of the bar, spread them out. And then I'll probably put a uh, TSW2000 or something above it. And just to give it a little extra light, uh, they're under the FC 4800 here right now, and that's doing uh, that's doing great in that area. So uh, really happy with that light. It's on full power at about what three feet above the canopy, and it's doing really well. So uh, yeah, so we have the cafe racers here. These here are. Uh, from SunWest Genetics, they are Agent Orange. Now, we have two of these, two totally different phenos here. We got the one in the front. Um, it's a lot more of a robust, thick plant with less bud sites on it. Super, super healthy, beautiful colors on that. And uh, doing really well. And then the one in the back is quite a bit shorter, probably about five inches shorter. But it's got tons and tons of bud sites. So uh, two totally different structures on these. So it'll be interesting to see, see how they turn out. Now the only thing I did to these, the same as the Cafe Racers, was uh, I just topped them. 
all the same pretty much and did just a little defoliation the other day and that was it so anyway they're all doing super well super healthy and they're all being grown in the uh, kryptonite soil and they're just being fed uh, well water from my tap and uh, that has a pH of around seven and that's it and that's all I plan on feeding them for their for the duration of their life so uh, this soil has everything that they need no no need to top dress no need to anything um, so that's that's all we'll be doing is just adding water if you want to try out this soil you can look up uh, nextgensoil.com or uh, type in kryptonite soil and you'll find it easy enough uh, that's if you're in Canada if you are in the States uh, it's really hard to get this in the States if you can at all but there is there is a soil that is pretty near pretty much identical to this and it's called the uh, uh, it's called Earth Keeper Complete uh, so you can check that out just type that in your Google it should bring it up and uh, yeah that's pretty much the same as as what this is so anyway um, I'm not going to be doing too much as far as training this week now I do want to flip these in two weeks and that's when the purple kush will be done and harvested so what I'm going to do is next week I'm going to do a bunch of training on them I'm going to lollipop them I'm going to I haven't decided whether to do the Kyle Cushman technique or the swazing technique or whatever I, I don't I don't even know yet uh, maybe leave some comments in the description how you want me to train these and uh, we'll figure something out for next week now we almost forgot about the tomato plant uh, I did pull out the second tomato plant that we had left and uh, this was the better of the two and she's doing pretty good a little droopy but that's all right Still quite a bit of growth considering last week uh, we had just pulled out all those little uh, probably what 20, 20 or 25 other seedlings here that uh, had grown up out of the, the slice of tomato that I had put in there. Here's a little piece of that slice when I pulled up the other tomato plant. A little piece of the slice actually came up. But uh, yeah, very interesting. So it'll be interesting to see how that does. Now, the auto pots are doing great. Uh, the tomato still has water in it. All the rest of them are, are dry. Now, that's because yesterday afternoon, uh, I had turned, the, I had turned the, the little knob off there. And uh, so I've done that twice. So every, every three days or so, I've been turning that off. Uh, turn it off in the afternoon, let them all dry out, and then the next day I usually just turn it back on. And that's that's the only thing different I'm doing right now besides just feeding it water, and it seems to be working well. Uh, just turning it off for that day just gives them a chance to uh, to get a good dry period in between. So uh, anyway, we'll see how that goes. It seems to be doing really it seems to be doing really well for right now. Okay, guys, so yeah, next week uh, should be pretty busy next week because we're going to be training all these uh, photo periods there. And uh, let me know in the comments um, if there's any type of training you want to see, and uh, I'll kind of decide by that. And um, yeah, and we'll also harvest, uh, partial harvest the purple kush also next week. So it uh, should be a pretty good one next week. This week, I uh, didn't do any training. Didn't really do anything special this week, but feed them, and uh, that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes it's nice not to have to be able to take a, a full week and not really have to do too much to your plants, and just let them do their thing and just grow. And uh, so anyway, next week we'll be doing the, uh, the pre-flower training, so that should be fun. So make sure you come back for that one. Thanks for watching, and again, I hope... All of you had great holidays. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.